Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Welcome to my channel, Me and My Jackets. My name is Chris. We talk all about all kinds of outdoor apparel here from Arcteryx, Heli Hansen, Patagonia, and Rab. So if you're into outdoor activities, mountain climbing, hiking, skiing, snowboarding, rock climbing, camping, walks in the park, whatever, <laughs> and you're into all these jackets and stuff, I have a ton of videos here on this channel for you that hopefully you can find something that can help you out and give you some information about these different jackets. Something you're interested in purchasing will kind of give you an all about video. Um, rather than a review, I kind of call them all abouts because that's what I do. I tell you all about the piece. So you know what you're buying, you know what you're getting, you know what you're paying for. All right. So um, again, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're into this stuff. I've got a ton of videos out here for you guys. You can spend some time looking at all these different jackets and getting a whole bunch of hopefully useful information for yourselves. Um, now, today's video, I am going to try not to make this too long, but I've got a lot of stuff I want to cover here for you guys. We are talking about Arcteryx fleeces today all of them <laughs> okay a whole bunch of them um i did a video about a year ago on a bunch of arcteryx fleeces that i owned and i wanted to do a revised video now here in um, late spring early summer of 2023 um, because they've come out with some revised editions, they've come out with some newer fleeces, they've come out with, you know, some new pieces. So I want to go over everything with you and put it all together. Again, try not to make it too long, but I want to give you as much information as I can about all these jackets. Okay, so we're going to start off um, with the lightest weight fleece and go on up to the heaviest weight fleece. And a couple older ones, a couple newer ones. I'm including the older ones because you never know, you might run into it on the outlet, you might run into it in the re-gear, and you'll know what it is and you know where it fits in line as far as warmth and, and everything else goes. All right, so let's start off. I love these fleeces, I gotta tell you. All right, I, they're so versatile. I wear them so many different ways. Um, under insulation layers, um, standalone, sometimes just around the house. I wear them when I go coach volleyball. They're just really awesome pieces, really versatile, really soft, really comfortable, and they're nice and warm. So, <laughs> that being said, all right, the lightest one. Um, the Kyanite LT, now known as the Kyanite Lightweight. The newer revised version, Kyanite Lightweight, is basically the same exact thing as the Kyanite LT was last year, only they, they uh, claim that it is made with a little more recycled material in the fabric. But all in all, the jackets feel exactly the same. This is a non-hooded version, and this is the hooded version. So this, I mean, honestly, this is one of my favorite fleeces all around. Just lightweight jacket, really comfortable, extremely stretchy, lightweight, trim fitting, okay? These are nice trim fitting jackets, but really nice stretchable fabric, really comfortable, super lightweight. You don't even know it's on, but it's, it, they're awesome, okay? So we have definitely, you know, these, two kyanite lightweights as you know the lightest weight uh, fleece that they currently have from there we're going up to the deltas so i have two different deltas here this is the standard delta jacket um, really nice little bit heavier little bit warmer than the kyanite, I think, especially as a layer underneath, um, you know, another insulated jacket of some sort. Um, very nice and soft. This is not as stretchy. It is a little stretchy, but not like as stretchy as the kyanites are. Um, nice chest pocket here on this jacket. And then they have the Kyanite, I'm sorry, the Delta Hybrid Hoodie. 
Now the hybrid hoodie is basically the same exact jacket as the Delta jacket is, only this has a light nylon shell covering over the top half of it and over the shoulders and partially down the arms. Now I don't really want to stick this on because, well, I'll do it. Um, it's a pullover, so it just kind of takes a second here. Now the Kyanite jacket does not have a, I'm sorry, I keep saying Kyanite. The Delta jacket does not have a hood, whereas this Kyanite hybrid hoodie obviously does, all right? Now the hood is um, just that thin nylon, but it does have a strip of the fleece down the center and over the back down to, you know, about right here. And it has a pull adjustment cord on the back to tighten it up. Sorry, I got the little tag here showing. Um, so, again, same exact jacket as the orange one was. Same exact jacket. Only difference is this has a separate little extra nylon shell on top from here up over the shoulders and down the arms. From here down the arm over the top just to add a little extra wind resistance and a little, little extra water repellency. However, I kind of have mixed feelings about the water repelling stuff. Even though this may have a DWR coating on it, the problem is, is fleeces in general will soak up water, will absorb water. So if you get water and rain on this part here, it's simply going to run off and absorb down here and in your arms and in your back. So, little extra protection, I guess, definitely. But I think more in the wind resistance part, this would really be beneficial. A little extra wind blocking. Most of these fleeces, or just about all these fleeces, are more air permeable. So if you're outside in a cold, windy day, you're going to feel that cold wind through it. It's just what it is. They're meant to breathe, right? They're meant to wick moisture away. And, you know, it does allow air permeability. So they're great underneath a soft shell, a hard shell, or another insulated jacket, just for that little extra bit of warmth. But this would be great, like for climbing, when you're up in the mountains and it's cold and windy, you have a little extra wind protection on the top. All right? So that is the Delta Hybrid hoodie. Um, these also have a little thumb hole in the sleeve. It's a nice really design um, for you know holding your sleeve up over your wrist. Okay, both the Hybrid hoodie as well as the standard Delta jackets have that. Now I have two older Deltas here as well. I will show you show you the Delta LT, all right, which is a little bit heavier, slightly heavier, slightly a little softer than the new Delta jacket and Delta hybrid, simply because it has that nice soft fleece on the outside as well as a brushed fleece on the inside. Whereas the new Deltas basically just have the checkered pattern fleece on the inside and more of a little, a little um, more, what's the word, flat <laughs> um, fabric on the outside. All right, so um, now for all of these jackets, all of these fleeces, all of this stuff, I have separate videos on these jackets individually. So to get more information and pictures, on you know the fabrics and the, the features the pockets and all that kind of stuff you can see it in my other videos right here and we're just rolling through all this stuff to introduce you to all these different pieces okay so for more detailed information about them check out my other videos all right finally here's an older delta piece this is a delta mx um, the Delta MX is a little older, but I want to show it to you anyway. You never know when you might come across one. Um, a little bit bigger in the cut, especially up top here. A little more of a, a relaxed fit compared to the other Deltas that are more fitted, more trim fitting. This too has holes for your thumb. 
little bit different design than the newer Deltas, but it has it. Um, nice hood here, like a scuba hood. Um, something you're going to wear a helmet on top of and not under, okay? There's not a lot of room in this hood. Um, what is nice with this jacket is it does have a nice sleeve. I'm going to figure this out. That pulls over the front. Sorry, might even be inside out here. <laughs> My hood's messed up. That can cover your face. Okay, so when you zip up, pull up the hood, you have this nice little covering here in the front to help keep you a little extra warm. All right. So that is, uh, it's getting hot in here, the Delta MX. All right. From there, we're going to go one step a little bit warmer. Um, we're going to go up to the Kyanite jacket. So the other Kyanites were the Kyanite Lightweight, or what used to be called the Kyanite LT. This is the Kyanite AR, which is now just known as the Kyanite. So this also is available in a hooded and non-hooded version. Obviously, this is the non-hooded version. Um, this too, just like the other Kyanite LTs, are extremely soft and extremely stretchy, all right? Really nice, soft, comfortable fleece. This is just a heavier weight, a little thicker fleece than the Kyanite LT or Kyanite now lightweight, okay? So here we go with this one. Same idea, very stretchy, very flexible, trim fitting, right? Nice pockets here, um, just a little heavier. Um, actually, I shouldn't say a little heavier. It's considerably heavier than the lightweight version. Definitely, you know, a nice, thicker, heavier fleece. So I would say this is a really lightweight fleece. The Deltas are like a medium lightweight fleece. The Kyanite jacket is a medium weight fleece. And we're going to expand on this now. And we're going to go up to another older piece. This is the Fortress hoodie. Now the Fortress, again, it's an older piece. It's a few years old, but a really nice fleece. And I'll show you what makes this one kind of unique. Um, this one here is about the same weight as the Kyanite. Um, it has a nice soft fleece, brushed fleece on the inside. But the outside of this jacket has what's called more of a hard face, a harder fabric on the outside. It's a more, little more durable. Um, it is not kind of fuzzy, um, but it is, it is very soft and it is stretchy. But it has a DWR water repellent coating on it. So that means that this fleece is somewhat water resistant, okay? Not waterproof, all right? water resistant. A light rain will kind of beat up on this and roll off, which is really nice for a fleece because like I said before, most fleeces just absorb water. So this can just help to repel some light rain. Pouring rain, you're going to get wet. Um, nice hood on this as well. And along with the hood, this too has that little extra covering that can come over your face. All right, so kind of nice. I actually wore this a couple times last winter when it was extremely cold outside. Uh, you know, the wind chills were below zero. I had a nice heavy winter jacket on. I had this underneath and I pull this up and it really, really makes a lot of difference when it comes to keeping your face warm. All right, so that is the older Fortress hoodie. It's actually getting pretty hot in here wearing all this stuff. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, we had an older piece. Now we're going to a brand new piece. This is the Rethel. The Rethel um, fleece jacket that was introduced this year in the spring of 2023. Um, this too is a pretty unique fleece. Definitely has a a unique um, 
purpose for it. Um, this is a little bit lighter, I think, as far as thickness than the Kyanite, but I think it's slightly a little bit warmer only because the face fabric on here is a tougher, um, just it's not a rough texture, but it's not a soft, fuzzy texture. It's almost like um, denim in your jeans is kind of what this feels like. So this is a fleece that is a regular fit. Okay, you can see there is some room underneath here, more so, a lot more so than all these other fitted fleeces. This one definitely has a larger fit. Now, it's not huge, okay? This too is a size extra large. Um, I am six foot two, 215 pounds. All these pieces are extra large, but they're all basically what's called a fitted or trim fit. This one is a regular fit. So there is more room underneath this, um, which has some advantages. Um, this piece here, is really unique, like I said, because of this more durable face fabric. I think this would be great if you are backpacking. You have a heavy pack on over you. This is a really durable fabric. Now, Arcteryx also claims that this is pilling resistant. So pilling basically is when some of the softer fabrics, the little fuzzier, softer fabrics start to, the fabric starts to roll up and get little like fuzz balls all over it. Okay, that's what's called pilling. Well, this doesn't have a fuzzy kind of, you know, soft fabric. This is a pretty durable fabric here. So they're saying it's anti-pilling, all right? Um, but with its regular fit, what's nice about this as well is not only its durability, but I think it's also capable of being worn as a nice warm layer under an insulated piece, or even just stand alone as a lightweight, durable piece if you're rock climbing, mountain climbing, um, you know, you're going through the woods and they're scraping against branches and stuff. This is definitely um, more durable. Um, but I think that really, the, the big thing with this is that not only can you wear this under an insulated piece for extra warmth, I think you can wear this over an insulated piece. Um, I have worn this over, you know, my Proton LT. Um, nothing huge, okay? There's not that much room in it that you're going to put this over like a heavy down insulated jacket, big puffy jacket. It's not that big. Um, but like, you know, a Atom LT, an Atom SL, the Protons, things like that, you can definitely wear underneath this. And this um, fleece then becomes more of a soft shell on top. And this does have a DWR coating on here as well. So it is somewhat water resistant as well. So it acts both as like a fleece uh, under, you know, layer under an insulated piece, as well as a soft shell over an insulated piece. So it's really kind of cool. But just keep in mind that it is size bigger. So if you are out with just a t-shirt on like this, um, it's a little big and baggy. Not crazy big, but definitely um, bigger fitting than the rest of these trim fit pieces. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. Again, I have a whole nother video on this online on my YouTube channel here. So, you know, you can check out more on this. All right. From there, finally, I got one last series of jackets and that's the coverts. Now the coverts are amazing. They are awesome. I have um, the quarter zip one here. I have the full zip um, cardigan version as well as the hoodie. Now, the hoodie is the newer one. This is the revised covert hoodie for 2023. Um, and again, the only difference with this jacket compared to the two older ones is that it is 100% um, recycled, I think it's polyester, I believe. 
um, the material. Other than that, these jackets are all, they're really exactly the same. So this jacket feels and fits exactly the same as the two older versions. Um, this just has a nice hood. Again, it's not a big helmet compatible hood. If you're going to wear a hood, a helmet with this, it's probably gonna go over the top of it. These are super warm, really nice, heavier weight fleeces that are soft. They are really, really nice. They are almost, I wanna say, like wearing a sweater. All right, um, this is the oldest one that I have. And I wear this thing all the time in the winter. Like this is super nice. Like I said, um, it's a covert cardigan. Um, it's basically like wearing a sweater. Heavier weight, super warm, um, just comfortable. Now this is not a stretchy material. It does have some stretch in it, but it is not a stretchy material. Like the, especially like the kyanites. The kyanites are almost like a spandex, right? Like a, like a woman's bathing suit. It's stretchy, like, right? Um, this is not really as stretchy, but it's a nice trim fitting piece. It has nice pockets on the side, a little pocket on the sleeve. Um, I love the non-hooded version because I like wearing this jacket sometimes in the winter underneath my thorium. Um, the thorium is a heavier down uh, poofy jacket um, that's really nice and super warm, but if it's really cold out, and you want extra warmth underneath it, this covert fits underneath it beautifully. And it, it is really, really a nice warm combination. So I don't need the hood on this, and I have the hood on the thorium. Um, it's just a personal preference, okay? I mean, if you want two hoods, you can't, you're not gonna, you know, you're, it's great, <laughs> right? You're not gonna complain about it. It's gonna be awesome for you. Um, just me personally, I don't need to layer hood on top of hood on top of hood. I, I would prefer just to have a nice warm insulated layer underneath and then have my jacket with my hood on top of it. Just me, all right? So um, yeah, and then again, this is just the quarter zip version. Um, this is really nice in the quarter zip simply because it's a little more dressy, I think. I, I wear this out to dinner. I can go out to the restaurants with this. A nice pair of pants, nice pair of jeans, whatever. Um, and, and this on top, it's a really, you know, nice looking sweater, just about, right? Um, so yeah, around the house, cold winter day, um, anything. Coverts are super nice and super warm. It's an expensive, you know, a piece. I think they're around $200 right now for like the hooded version, but um, you get what you pay for. It's a really great quality piece. Super nice fit, super warm, nice and soft. Really, really cool pieces. I, like I said, I, I love all these fleeces. So, all right, I think that's going to wrap it up here. I don't want to go any further. Um, like I said, if you want more information on any one of these pieces, I have separate videos on all of these things. We go into a little more detail showing you the fabric, its features, the whole bit. So you know, please check that out. All right, so hit the like button if the video helped you out. I appreciate the support. Um, thank you for all your comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. There's a ton of stuff here for you to check out. Um, I, I really appreciate the support here and you know, I'm going to keep making videos for you guys. So thanks for watching and we'll see you back again soon. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.